fortunately the recording was uh, saved and yeah we just had then to turn and then the surveillance or the mascot will uh, come through here so uh, this is works so having this see here coming with supplies really just help thank you alexander for uh, providing uh, uh, supplies to your army uh, anyway we are going to end turn and then everything else is moved so there's not much else to do the 20 and yep there's nothing else i can do Uh, these men definitely need to re replenish from these men and uh, yeah we're gonna march down establish ourselves uh, supply wise uh, so we don't starve desert and then uh, take out the surveillance and mascot That was a very long turn. And get the uh, need public order and then a baggage train here. Let's go for the resource and then a farm. Oh, wow. Almost full health already. Excellent. They can push rather far. Yeah, that's quite far up the mascot. They did not attack me this time. Uh, they did. Uh, when it crashed, they did attack me. I'm going to just check the spy if they have an army here. They do. Okay, spearmen, axemen. Then uh, yeah, some spears and archers, very limited cavalry. They're raiding me in this area here. Well, let's just move with this army here. I'm gonna take out the slave market or, or the slave uh, resource here in Eu Damon. So getting supplied by the sea. So gonna make sure they are. They don't suffer attrition. Oh, is it here? Very bad. Over here. Decently. We. Our path is blocked. We will use the Syrians and the Balearics in offensive. They're a little bit more powerful than my other archers. <clears throat> that would break the backbone of the Muscaean uh, army. The rest of it is just moving up. And uh, we definitely have a numerical advantage against the Syrians and uh, Quality wise, also, we don't have to worry. <laughs> so, yeah, but we'll move up. Ready for orders. Up with those. They're yeah, these men. They're just gonna save here to make sure. Let us attack.
My lord! Heavy action! Let us attack. We await your orders! Gonna march up to this hill. Gonna kill the archers first and then we have our pick on where we want to hit. But we want to hit the general if possible, along with the camels. Charge in here, gather up. Yes, Syrians, shoot. And be ready with your cavalry. Shoot the camels. A scare. Go. Let the enemy hurl their javelins at me. Sacred band, fall back. Let the pelt us uh, move. Javelins. Go shoot the other archer unit. General, Be prepared to flank. Royal Arch in and there we go. Fall back. Get around. Oh, this is bad. Attack here and swing around with the axis. Royal Thorax ready and waiting. Double time. Attack. Fellow infantry commander. Companion cavalry. Good flank. Let me scare the other one. Yes. That will make it waver. And make it rout. We crush their flanks pretty decisively. And the Balerics can fall back. Uh, can you attack these men here, please? And charge in the swords against spears. Okay, Syrians, you can shoot off the rest of your ammo, flank here, let us attack these uh, Axemen. Attack here, first of all. 
Try to help the cavalry here. I don't think it's necessary, but or we just attack over here. Peltas can be used to uh, run down the enemy whilst I'm fighting. Turn around the pikemen against this unit and charge in here. Gonna try to can break that those heavy spear units and the Valerics can shoot this first uh, axe unit coming in back spears are coming in and uh, make another charge against this spear unit hunt down the axe man go against the heavy spears and shoot this uh, axe unit Peltas can now hunt them down. Well, they are damaging this Agima. Here we go. Might retreat uh, with this army back to uh, friendly territory because now they only have one army left and I have several armies on the way so it's not like the AI will be able to recover. Uh, so. Here we go. General survived. Let us fall back here. So, get back position. Ready for battle. We hung 
Time to turn, but I will just stop recording and record after if, if they attack me or when the turn is over. So I'm just uh, going through, and uh, surveillance are harassing. They're doing harassment uh, mission. I will just go back to my own territory here for some replenishment. And oh, we killed off one uh, army here of the Sabaeans. We might as well just take another one. And uh, as long as we guard with one army here, we're fine. Uh, as uh, we won't don't want the, their fleet to be able to go to my garrison as if we kill take back territory Ready for battle. but now with two uh, Macedonian armies against the Muscaeans or yeah Muscateans or whatever you want to call them uh, they shouldn't have much uh, left and then this army could go against the uh, Abayan wall settlements then we can simply take uh, this uh, like kennel dogs. The cavalry took some damage there, but that was uh, sort of expected. And uh, that is very well let us see how many turns we have left before four turns we must replenish the fleet ah. we shouldn't be able to i just think they just say it's just best that we can but we can't now here we'll take a couple of turns before we actually enter this but we can move no, I don't want to fight the Spartan fleet here. It's suffering attrition and all that, but not enough. Okay, well, fine. <clears throat> but then there's the Muscaean fleet also. Okay, that was just eight ships. Not a great deal. And the enemy is starting to replenish themselves. They have two armies. Right? They, did, they did not, do not have just a single army here, absolutely not. Eight, so they are starting to recruit and build up. Okay, what to do with this fleet? We could move it back or wait here and just replenish and then use the other fleet to up. And we have more armies on the way that are on the way to Sabayan, uh, to Sabayan capital. There. Avoid places with the, with the skull. Uh, this one will have to recover. And can't move this one. We could move this on but again we retreated it so it could uh, yeah we're gonna lay siege to the settlement as quickly as possible then the Sabaeans can't recruit and then we just uh, take two armies here we can win it without the result or something and then we the campaign is over because then the Sabaeans and all that all those troops they are just waiting to get starved to death so that would be the fleet is suffering attrition, you know. So they, if they can supply themselves, they lose men every turn. Then I just need one army per coastal city here, and the enemy can't retaliate against me. 
but we have we seem to be in all the all clear just gonna move this army quickly as possible and then the same thing goes to uh, the surveillance I'll just enter in here I will stop recording again so you don't have to wait subjugation Theater, supply depot. That is my main concern. We have more food or something. Yes, there we go. Republic order, then for this extra loyalty. Citizen IP. <laughs> I know I don't have to pay attention to this, but uh, just. Uh, do it. Now oh, let's see here. Get the slave resource. Commander. I could siege them with uh, this army, Ready for but I'm going to siege them. This will probably provoke the surveillance to attack this army that is totally fine ah one turn okay that's excellent that will provoke the surveillance to attack me right there and i make a follow-up attack against the field army right now whilst they're trying to recover ah that's unfortunate that would be a great follow having us follow up army would it make made things much easier Ready for and we can almost go to Muscat but not quite the if this army is full nope not yet but we can uh, it will catch up At your then here we can go around here then we won't feel emboldened enough Ready to attack me uh, they're not strong enough Unless they have their other field army right here or somewhere. Are they in the middle of the desert? Oh, there they are. So they, they might ambush me and then there will be both a garrison and I mean, they will coming from they will be going coming from two different directions or even. So that was sort of clever. Nerf AI. AI clever. Hmm. Uh, we can move them further down. It's not going to be a rebellion here. And this one, we can move down. Uh, so we be really overwhelming them here, and we can also move this army. We can move it to We're not going to walk all around the coast over here, but we can move it here. Make haste, men. So it can follow the road this way in case of uh, something disastrous would happen, but it's not very likely. It will just be like one battle left, essentially. And then they are done. But the surveillance are finished now because they can't replenish themselves. And then uh, they only have this garrison. So I will just end turn and let them attack. The Sabaeans sally out here. They do have quite a lot of horsemen, but uh, low quality. Spearmen are average, and then they have some more cavalry here to their credit, but not enough. But let's fight it because it's the last stand of the Sabaeans, anyway. Warm up together, gonna go up to here, we get a clear view of the enemy, and we do have 
swordsman. A couple of swordsmen. This cliff will help me so I don't get outflanked. So I'll probably send two swordsmen here, one swordsman here. And then have the Veltas over here. The Valerics could already be up on this ridge, taking the territory over here. Giving me some scouting. Scouting. Then we can do this a little bit different. Let's start. Um, okay, okay, fall back with the slingers. Uh, rush up the hill and... Uh, Take this reverse slope. Let's see. Shoot the cavalry. Shoot the cavalry. Ready and waiting. Uh, we gotta move up. Gotta go up to the slope, at least to there. And try to drive them away. Shoot the cavalry, please. Okay, they have some more tr Oh, right behind me. Okay. A good ambush. Okay, got a charge. Where the hell is my other cavalry? Um, hurl at the horse archers. Kill them off. Hunt them down. And assist here. Swordsmen. You must uh, help out here. That's a little bit much. Charge in here. Back over here. Go with the uh, sacred squadron attack over here. But ideally, we do not want to uh, get hit. Uh, but let's see. Okay, the Balerics went into combat, which is not very good. We do not want to have. Uh, Attack the camels over here, hurl at them, shoot them up. Uh, wow, are we already? Strength and honor. There we go. Now we can handle ourselves. Hit them there. Beat the cavalry. Thorax swords. You know what to do. Uh, attack the general of the enemy. Shoot them up there. Fall back. Attack the spearmen over here. Charge there. Gotta try to beat them up. And we did. That's excellent. Now we can... Oh, the archers went into combat. That is not good. Let us just hurl at the... Enemy cavalry and go round. Sabine nobles are formidable, so let's just uh, stay here. Charge the flank. The, the Valeric archers can shoot this horse archer unit. These men are archer spearmen, so they have a lot of ammunition and can do. A lot of damage, but now we have one uh, unit to guard our flank. That's good. Now we can break the other one with the scare. Then focus down the enemy. The enemy will just send. We will go to the other side actually. There's a lot of uh, units here. So. Let's 
back over here get the swordsman in swordsman have now covered now try to kill the general actually the archers are shooting up the enemy bow cavalry and back over here and be prepared to flank uh oh Tuh. oh they're gonna try to charge me eh Let's see if they able to we got sh we shattered this unit and then this unit attack that's good they're shattered let us attack over there we're butchering them there and now we're just preparing ourselves let's just try to get try to get the general there so that if he dies then they all will suffer Ready, men. Ready there we go go maybe a good uh, hammer and anvil the enemy general should be dead and then uh, Hunt him down here and break this spear unit over there in the flank. Be preparing to flank charge over here. We're already pressing hard here. And all oh, my archers are just going, uh, going somewhere they're not supposed to go. There we go. We broke that uh, spear unit. Let's charge in here and flank around. so they don't have anything uh, to uh, chase us down with okay Valerix hold fire and chase down the spearmen those uh, But it just follows every battle, so just speed up. And let's see. Good enough. Now they're attacking me here. Hmm. Plenty of soldiers for the enemy. Most of them like man for man and they're not up to par. But they do have the numbers. The garrison is not something to be afraid of. 
so uh, but they do outflank me but if I just move around with one army against this first kill them first turn around then they have nothing to uh, because these men here they will not stand up to any one any of my units Well, they are attacking me. I have this nice little hill. So I can choose if I want to deal with the field army or the garrison first. We will stand on this hill first. And then we will just turn around. When if the garrison will come up right behind us, then we can route them quicker, actually. And then... Uh, yeah but, yeah, but we prepare ourselves like that. We will be ready to break the enemy garrison troops that are, if they come behind us. And just charge down immediately. Kill them quickly. And then turn against the real threat. And we should always start with the weaker uh, enemy though. Okay, we already have them there. Okay, let's just go with the Peltas. Same tactics though, as always. But the cavalry will be here behind cover against enemy cavalry. See if they are will arrive over here or if they will be in front of us. And so I tell you that victory is within our grasp. They're not there. Okay, they will be okay, they're arriving over here. Okay. Agimas uh, move up. And then uh, we can have the swords. Uh, these swords will have to move up. Help us can move up. The slingers will have to can assist this sacred squadron. And then these help us can move in with the swords. And the general can assist like right here. Okay, we gotta be careful with the camels. The Agimas will have to be used to block off the enemy. And the archers will have to uh, kill the enemy cavalry. And gotta move down quickly. Uh, you're just going to hurl ourselves here. And uh, hope that it's good enough. Attack here and attack there. Kill the Axeman unit and we will be fine. Oh, oh, enemy cavalry are on the way and we have no cavalry on of, of our own. It says it's even. That's not true, is it? We have some civilian irregulars there. Okay, do have more cavalry in here. Come on, yeah, shoot them in the side. Okay, <laughs> the Gimas are not even in uh, pike formation. Well, run. Come on, break the cavalry. Archers, uh, shoot. Uh, Sacred Squadron, retreat. Uh, four slingers here. They gotta move. Good thing that the slingers survive. Let us just uh, charge in here. No time to lose. Uh, gonna attack here. Gotta try to survive. The Peltas must block any enemy attack on the side. Ooh, the Slingers here are taking damage. Gotta turn inwards. 
And we gotta try to break the camels over here. I have I have the speed, so archers uh, shoot the other archer units. Excellent. Now we have cleared. We gotta try to hunt down the enemy general. We gotta also break the enemies from the flank. There we go, these swordsmen are doing well. The pelt dust uh, should uh, be hitting the enemy axemen units. Uh, attack over here, I guess the Bayan militia. We do have an option here to attack the flank there, so we will do so. Okay, pelt dust charge in. We're gonna break this, turn inwards. Attack, attack, attack. Then go in against the archers here. Ready and waiting. That's good. We're breaking them. Will they go for a flanking movement here? Let's see where the sacred squadron is. Okay, I chased down the enemy uh, cavalry. Uh, but I'm still relatively vulnerable. But I will hunt down these irregular troops. And the garrisons. Point blank range uh, fire from here. Uh, the slingers and pelt dust will have to do. The archers are just moving up, so, but they have to stop. We'll try to shoot them on the unshielded side, but right now I'm just trying to hold the enemy in place. Okay, pelt dust, you can charge in. That's good enough. Back the flank over here and slingers up to the side. Archers shoot to axemen units. Okay, general attack the archers. Slingers attack here. Okay, attack here. Okay, I can't go any further. Let's go here. Swordsmen are doing well. They will like, okay, I need to make one drop over here, so they all get demoralized. And now flank attack. Flank attack. The enemy general probably routed, right? Yes. Now all the garrison troops are running, so well done on the Thorax swordsman. Uh, they really managed to press in. Try to get some of this Abayan militia troops. Sacred squadron, just to go against the enemy axemen. Cavalry, go against the routing troops. Go. And the army losses kick in now. It is important that we kill every unit. Or as many as possible. Uh, that will help the auto resolve. General, cut them down. We're just hunting them down. That will have broken the resistance of the Damascaeans.
gonna try to get these men. They are dangerous. Yeah, there we won. Now oh, we're taking my rib. Ready for order. Disobeyance are screwed. At your command. Let's see. Ready for battle. Let us hunt down disobeying army here. Ready for orders. Okay. We hunger Then we just kill off the general here. So that they have no land units, and then they can... They still have their fleet. But, uh... Yeah. My fleet is here blocking, and I will also send the, the fleet down. To guard it. They did not uh, upgrade this one. So, very good uh, building, actually. But never uh, upgrade it in the beginning as this obey if you play this abeyance. It requires uh, resources. Anyway, we will use this army here. And we will get ourselves the... Uh, what should we go for? We have the fear factor. We have... We had a cavalry. attack here this is just to prevent the surveillance from the muskeans from replenishing we can uh, circle we them and we take this army we will we will then find the other muskean army here kill it off Then we Ready for take it up here so we have two armies. Your next command. And then we just auto resolve it. There's no way they can uh, resist. They can't fight against my swordsmen. They can't fight my, against my Gimas. There's no point. Their fleet is also dead. Kill that faction, and now we've taken the entire world. What we have to do now, essentially, is just wait until the Pardians are destroyed. We just have to play so that the enemy doesn't have anything that they can uh, take the set city with. And Sharax can get pretty quickly protected. 
But again, I consider the campaign done now because. Uh, okay, we can do it like that. But I just place an army first along every coastal town so that the enemy is certain they can't uh, take it back. And then we can call it a day. We have a fleet here, it is well protected already. But then we need to move one army to Hagar, which is one turn away. Uh, but it should be fairly quickly how many nations are left now. Ah, okay, it's only the Sabaeans now. And uh, this is one fleet, and then they have 11. Okay. Now we can move these the uh, these fleets. We can now move up. If the Spartans are now vanished, then we can actually clear out the Sabaean the fleet. Uh, Sabaean fleet also. Sagar has seven hoplite, three militia hoplite, three archers, then they have their a small fleet that in itself should be able to resist this one. And they have just 80 men there, so I might out to resolve the naval battles, but the pain is done. Now I've just... I will, but I will finish up the fleet for you. We will just deal with the fleet first. They are suffering quite badly. Now we just take this one. And public order. Ooh, spice. Yes. One turn left and then they're dead. We're just gonna make this army to Hagar. Now, every coastal town is essentially safe, except this one, but, you know, I already have two fleets on that way. Then we have these troops. Temple of Zeus. Now comes the final... Uh, Back. All hands to the oars. Leave none alive. There's no point in fighting here. I would just ram them, I have stronger ships than what they have. And it would just take a couple of minutes because they will probably be in a single row, or two rows perhaps, but I have a matching amount of uh, ships. So. The waves still beckon. And now the Sabaeans are gone. We are the only factions left. And originally I was just thinking, oh yeah, well I made the first the first turns here as Macedonia and then things went out of control and I just expanded the objectives. What was interesting uh, was that when Rome, they had a foothold in Iberia, even though I have taken Italy, they never on their way to come back. Another, but the hardest factions to fight against would be 
the Parthians and the Royal Scythians. The Royal Scythians actually managed to destroy an army. And that's uh, Macedonia, yeah. Rely on your pikemen, use the slingers against enemy cavalry, and then, uh, yeah, have pelt dust on the flanks with the swordsmen or spearmen, and uh, absorb the charge and then come in with your own cavalry and smash the enemy. And that will work pretty well. I'm looking forward to make a gate campaign and uh, let's just say some things I like, some things I am less enthusiastic about, but for this campaign, Macedonia, well, it's fun and uh, but it's done. So I hope you enjoyed the battles and found it interesting. I know I need to edit more like i don't need to show garrison battles if there's a clear supremacy superiority uh, because you know you, you only need to a couple of tactics and then it repeat 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 and uh, yeah but uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed the campaign thank you for watching bye